What is an uh, executive pastor? Executive pastor. I'm sure most of you, you uh, this this term uh, because um, the position of is not specifically mentioned in scripture, and the primary position of leadership in a local church is that of the pastor, elder, or overseer. And the three titles seem to be used interchangeably, but each word may emphasize a certain aspect of the position. The word uh, pastor is uh, really the word for shepherd, and many emphasize caring for and feeding the flock. The word elder may emphasize wisdom and respect. Likewise, the word seer or bishop emphasizes leadership and authority and the qualification for this office are found in uh, the book of first timothy uh, chapter 3 verse uh, 1 to 7 let me just read to you uh, what the bible says about uh, church leadership all right uh, the bible says this is a true saying if a man desire the office of a bishop you see it's a man desire so <laughs> i'm sure there's also another argument that uh, people say should women be leaders in church and I think I've done a, a, a video on YouTube on the same. So maybe you can just go and check uh, that, that one out. So uh, this is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. And uh, a bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, uh, no striker, no greedy for of a filthy lucre, that is money, uh, but patient, not brawler, not covetous, one that ruled well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, uh, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report which I would have. Let's he fall reproach in the snare of the devil. That's, that's how a, a, a leader or a bishop in the church should be like. And also the book of Titus chapter 1 verse 5 to 9, it also gives us a, a much more detail about the same. Uh, in the book of Titus 1, 5 to 9, he says, For this cause left I uh, thee in Crete, that uh, thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not a cast of riot, or uh, uh, unruly, all right, or uh, unruly, for a bishop must be blameless steward of God, not self-willed, n- uh, not soon angry, not given to wine, nor striker, nor given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word, as he has been taught, that he may be able to, uh, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. That makes sense, right? So now, having said that, we understand that the biblical pattern is that there are several pastors, elders, overseers for each congregation. Even though there may be one pastor who does most of the day-to-day work of teaching, preaching, counseling, etc., there they are also a senior pastor, a pastor, a teaching pastor, and when this is the case, the elders are there to hold him accountable and to provide wisdom and balance so that all leadership and authority is not centered on one man. And the role of executive pastor is not uh, defined in scripture but has developed over the first few decades in uh, western churches. The job description may vary from uh, uh, church to church. I I call it job description with uh, you know uh, the team opening and uh, closing quotes because it's not really a job it's more of a calling all right <laughs> so this one may vary from uh, a church to church but uh, some churches today are very large and under the church umbrella there are 
maybe a Christian school, bookstore, media ministries, camp, a conference ground, and other ministries that are primarily conducted outside the four walls of the church. And many churches have uh, extensive properties, dozens or even hundreds of employees and large budgets, and they have to deal with uh, uh, municipal codes, employment laws, federal uh, guidelines, insurance, payroll taxes, and all those. And uh, unfortunately, in today's environment, churches can have uh, significant legal exposure regarding employee uh, sexual harassment and uh, abuse of minors and this and uh, this kind of risk require the development of safeguards and policies. Furthermore, the church may be involved in important promotional efforts through traditional and uh, social media. These issues can have a significant impact upon the ministry of a church. And the executive pastor is a person who oversees all the various businesses, financial, personnel, legal aspects of the ministry, like the ones mentioned above. And uh, in business, he might be called a chief operating officer or a CEO. Because the executive pastor will have spiritual authority within the church and will be dealing with the issues that require wisdom and spiritual discernment. It is important that he, he should meet the biblical qualifications for a pastor or an elder or an overseer. Although he may not be preaching on a regular basis, he should still be able to bring the word of God to bear upon a variety of situations and explain it to those he supervises or interacts with. And many of the difficult issues that uh, face the church today uh, can only be handled with wisdom and prayer. And the position should not be offered to someone based solely upon his business acumen or legal skills and experience. Because some things, they need uh, prayer. You need to seek wisdom from God, all right? So that's uh, exactly who uh, the executive uh, pastor is. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you learned something. And remember, you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and uh, subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new Bible study lesson. And if you like to get saved or you need uh, step-by-step Bible verses on the order of salvation so that you can well preach to your friends or family, or maybe just feel led to support our ministry by full Christian merchandise. Can you visit our website, keithmuoki.com, for more details and breakdowns. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon in the next one.